Oh boy, starting a video in my car not wearing scrubs. You know what this means. So, hey guys, Carolyn here. Today, I'm starting another concert vlog. My third one for this year. That's insane. That's literally insane to me. Um, but today, I am going to see Super M in Atlanta. The most random thing that I have done this year. Um, yeah, so it's currently about 8 a.m. And I... I'm leaving. Um, the place I'm going to today is actually, oh, Kian just posted. That's cute. Um, the place I'm going to today is actually a lot closer to me. It's about 30 minutes closer to me than um, the past couple of venues that I have been to for ATs and Monster X. So I'm super excited. Um, I feel like this is the most random thing I've done this year. I'm so excited for it because I feel like I really need this. Like buying Super M tickets, I bought them literally in October, like October 4th or 5th or something. I don't know, it was whatever that first weekend was. It's the most, it was so random. I was like, why am I going to this concert? <laughs> like this seems so weird. But I mean, I love all of the groups in Super M. Like I love EXO and SHINee and um, NCT. So I'm super excited also my like, bias my overall bias and nct lucas is in this group so like we gotta go and it's a friday atlanta concert like it just all worked out and then this happened all of the stuff with my ults is happening right now so i almost feel silly going to this because like i should be i don't know but i really need this positive like experience in k-pop after this past month so i'm really excited about that i'm really excited to um meet up with a couple of friends of mine who I know are going and I'm just like super excited so the plan for today is to get there I don't I feel very prepared like not myself but like I feel like I feel very knowledgeable about what's happening at the concert today I've had both the infinite energy center and also whoever is bringing them whatever they're called the v I think it's called vip tour or something whatever um they have both emailed me within the past 48 hours with information about today so a vip check-in which is what I have I have vip um starts at three I definitely will get there before three I'm currently not in my concert outfit because I didn't want to travel in my concert outfit but yeah so I can't check into my hotel supposedly until three I requested an early check-in time and they're gonna text me if I have a room ready before then um but my hotel is like a minute from the venue so I'm not too worried about that but I hope that I can like change and get ready before I go to the venue supposedly parking is free so I also might pick up my stuff and then run back to the hotel and change real quick and then go back I'm also super nervous because I plan on buying Super M's light stick there they started pre-orders but there was no way it was going to arrive to me in time before this concert so I'm buying it there um so I really hope I get that I'm also going to go to K-pop store in USA I think this afternoon because I will get there hopefully before then i should be getting there around noon time is my goal and then i'm gonna go to k-pop store in usa um i would like to check out the other atlanta k-pop store but i might just do that tomorrow on my way out but i at least want to go there and yeah i hope it all works out i'm excited i feel like i really really need this trip so yeah i have a coffee and i also have a tea sitting back there um and we're just gonna stay super caffeinated today and whatever life throws at us will be caffeinated for it that's my new life motto i said it to a coworker yesterday so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and start driving i really should have started like half an hour ago but i will update you guys later it's gonna be a fun day we're gonna have a great time i officially made it to atlanta um i'm at the k-pop store right now and I'm so tired honestly um that drive does get easier every time I do it but it was also rainy today and cloudy and I'm just like am tired now but we're here we're going to go to the k-pop store um I don't really want a ton of things here I just always like to stop here when I'm here the things I do want I want God 7's new album at least um and then I want to maybe buy Wavy's light stick if it's here. If it's not, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna get the Super M one, but Wavy's light stick or NCT is one of the two. And then I just wanna see if they have the carrot bong. I don't know if they will, but because I'm going to uh, 17 in January, I figured it wouldn't hurt to look. And I wanna get a couple of things from my Secret Santa package um, that I haven't finished yet. So that's really it. And then we're gonna see if my hotel room is ready. I hope it's ready after this because I really just wanna like get my stuff to my hotel, but I don't know. Yeah, so ugh, I already passed the exit to get to my hotel. So now I'm just like, I have to go back to where I was before. Anyways, 
let's go ahead and go in there and see what there is to see and i hope it stops raining because it rained like the whole way down here and it was pretty awful so i hope it stops raining <laughs> it's supposed to stop this afternoon but i hope it stops before like three or four because that'd be nice okay let's go to the k-pop store it was so hot in there <laughs> and so busy i like didn't really film i will show you what i got later i'm planning on doing a haul anyways for this because i'm gonna go get my super m stuff but right now i have to see if i can check into my hotel i hope i can and then i can get ready and just go straight to the venue and just hang out there all day but if not I don't really know what I'm gonna do because it's two o'clock now. So let's just do this thing. Um, it was super busy in there and I like, I don't know, I've never seen it that busy before. So I might stop back tomorrow because there's one other album I kind of wanted, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's drive to the hotel now. <laughs> I'm just so tired of driving, can you tell? All right, let's go. Ooh, this lighting though. So made it to my hotel. It's kind of crazy, like like I have a kitchen, it's kind of weird. Um, it's just a little overview of the room. But I am excited because I didn't know if my room was gonna be ready by the time I got here, but it was, so shout out to Marriott for that. But yes, now I need it to get ready real quick and go pick up my VIP stuff. I'm so excited because I was so worried about what I was gonna do if my room wasn't ready because I need to be there at three. But luckily I can literally see Infinite Energy Center like from the hotel I'm staying at. Like I saw it in the parking lot. So I'm not too worried about getting there. I just have to get ready and make this look like something else. Also, I do want to mention that I did end up getting the, can I just, I'm gonna switch this around, hold on. I did end up getting the, um, NCT light stick. So I'm going to set that up real quick too. I brought batteries with me because I knew I was planning on buying another light stick. And also I have a bagel in there because I realized I've eaten an apple today and that's it. So yeah, look, I have a freaking couch. Oh, definitely will be filming our recap video from this tomorrow <laughs> or maybe here. I don't know, but yeah, let's do this thing. Is there anything in this fridge? Should we look? Am I covering the mic? Or I don't think so. Anything in here? No, that's sad, but they did give me a water, so that's nice. Okay, let's get ready for the show. Okay. So this is my first outfit. Also, shout out to me. These jeans didn't even fit at the beginning of this year, so that's cool. Um, but I don't know. This was kind of like my maybe backup outfit. I don't know if I'm going to go with this one, actually, now that I'm wearing it again. Because, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see here. Is there a bed mirror somewhere? Is there? Oh, there is, there's this one. Okay, so I don't know. And I'm gonna wear boots, but I don't know. I'm so bad at winter concerts. I literally never know what to wear. Let's see what the other one looks like. Okay, this is the other outfit. I don't know. Usually I have someone with me to help me make decisions, but there's literally no one. So uh, <laughs> today I just have myself, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. This was the winter last night. I just, I'm gonna wear like a necklace. Fun fact, one of, I tried to, wear earrings last night and um lobe piercing is um i guess closed up because my ears started bleeding so that's a fun fact you probably didn't need to know um i don't know part of me is also just like maybe i'll wear this and then at the merch table buy a t-shirt and then wear the t-shirt instead i just feel like this will keep me warm outside but inside the venue it might be too warm this is so hard but i think i'm gonna wear this one um and then maybe i'll get the t-shirt there and then wear that instead but i don't know i didn't really want to get it i don't know what time is it we gotta go <laughs> we have to go <laughs> although none of my rings are that far today that's really sad all right i don't know i'm just imagining all of you commenting that ugly that outfit's so ugly like i don't know <laughs> i did not plan for this at all so yeah i literally still think this looks like a weapon i just put batteries in it and it works so that's exciting i brought the perfect amount of batteries <laughs> did i just redo the exact same makeup look maybe i was gonna do something else and then i decided we don't have time for it so i'm just gonna put my necklace on and uh, we gotta go get our vip stuff <laughs> once i get all of that i'll be okay and then i can like maybe i'll bring some makeup with me and i'll fix it later i don't i don't know
I just got back from the concert and I got um, dinner with Sana afterwards. So it's not that late. Usually I get back from concerts much late than, later than this. It's only 11. So I'm just gonna sleep. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Is that a thing I do? Um, but yeah, I had a super great time talk in the morning. <sighs> I don't think I ever even vlogged me like leaving because I was so frazzled. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Let's just go to sleep. Super Admiral Gray. I was blown away. Yeah, what is what what is happening? Okay, I've gotta go. <laughs> Bye. Alright, it's time for uh <laughs> the part of the video where I talk about everything. Good morning. We have here with us today a coffee with soy milk and then also a dairy yogurt a Greek yogurt. So the vegan thing's not working well today, but that's okay. <laughs> I was gonna sit on the couch, but the lighting isn't as good. So here we are. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, I was thoroughly impressed. I wasn't really sure. I mean, I knew what was gonna, like what to expect show wise, but I just wasn't, I've never seen any of these groups in person before. So I like just didn't know. Can I just say though, I went to go get breakfast downstairs and there's a lot of people from the concert <laughs> at this hotel, probably cause this hotel is like a mile from um, the venue, which oh, genius, Carolyn, genius. Do that again, do that always. That was so good. <laughs> I feel like everything happened so fast last night that I wanna make sure I talk about everything. I think the last thing I recorded was me leaving um, the hotel besides like the little clip I filmed last night. So. I left the hotel and I went there and I got to the bottom of my elevator and I was like trying to get my ID and my um, credit card together for when I got to the venue and and I couldn't find my ID. I like handed it to the front desk when I got here and then I um, was just, I don't know, I was like, I don't even know, I think I put it back in my purse i don't think i put it back in my wallet but i was like where is it like i can't find it so i got to the bottom of the elevator and then i had to go back up to the room and i like tore apart my wallet trying to find my id because that's like the one thing you really need to get your vip tickets um and then i found it in my wallet i don't know i'm stupid so and then i like ran back down there and i was like oh my gosh now i'm running late so i had all of my stuff i had like the bagel that I was gonna eat and then I had my NCT light stick and um, I had my makeup if I wanted to fix my makeup before the show because because for the only other time I picked up VIP benefits was for Monster X in LA and that was a table outside and you like went up and got your stuff and then they were like okay be free like come back later and that was not the case this time so I was very thoroughly expecting to go back to my car and I never did. So what happened was I got there, I parked and I like panicked and was like, oh my gosh, I have to like get over there and get my stuff, which was stupid. I, it was stupid. And when I did that, when I got out of my car and like all frazzled and whatever, I forgot my NCT light stick. So I got, I like walked from the parking lot to the venue and I saw someone's NCT light stick and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot mine in the car, it's in the car. Um, so I was like, that's okay, I'll like pick up my stuff and I'll go back and get it. And then I saw the line for VIP for pickup and I was like, this line is so long. So I, there was a little, they had a couple of outside merch areas. So I stopped there first because there was like no people there. And cause I think a lot of people wanted to get their VIP stuff and then pickup merch um which made sense but I was like I'll just get my merch and then I'll like look at it in line and then I won't have to buy it afterwards and go with all the VIP people to buy merch um and it wasn't official like it was official merch because yeah I bought I'll show you in a minute but I bought my light stick and it worked so so yeah I was a little worried about it but it was all official merch so that was cool I said at the beginning of this how like organized I thought everything was. It was really not that organized. So they let me in. I was wearing a belt and boots. So of course I went through the scanner thing and it set them off. That was fun. So they had to like, yep, make sure I wasn't carrying anything dangerous. That was a good time. So we get in there and we're like standing there forever and it's raining and it's cold. And I've never been to a concert in the rain before. That was literally awful. I just, I hate, 
I hate the rain. I can't stand the rain, if you will. We're all just like standing in this room for forever because even though it was four o'clock by that time, they did not have everything set up and ready to go. I don't know. I don't know, but we stood there for a while and then they tried to put us in lines and then it like kind of failed. And then by the time I was to the front of the table, they like actually set up lines. I gave the lady my ID and my email confirmation. And I bought, if you remember, I bought two tickets because I found a ticket for floor one. Um, and then I found a ticket for floor two and floor two was the better seat. So I was planning on selling my floor one and until like two days ago, I was selling it and some the person who was buying it just backed out. So I was like, okay, whatever. I guess I'm just not gonna sell it, that's fine. They pulled up one of my tickets or they pulled up on the iPad they had, she pulled up both of my tickets, but the physical tickets, she could only find one. So this like random man took my ID and like left for a good 15 minutes trying to find my ticket. It was ridiculous, it was ridiculous. I was like, oh my gosh. I was standing next to the lady who was gonna scan the ticket and officially like let you into the venue. And I asked her and I said, um, so she scanned my ticket and she said something she probably said like a hundred times already that day, which was, if you want to leave, just like keep your VIP lanyard and your ticket with you and you can leave and then come back. And I said, okay, like, where do I go? Like, how do I get back in if I leave? And where do I go to leave? Because I wanted to go back to my car. Because by that point, it was like 4.45, 5 o'clock probably. I already got my merch. So I was like, I would like to go put things down and get my NCT light stick um, and like, eat my bagel and come back, that would be great. Um, so the lady pointed me into the direction of where I needed to go to leave the venue. And I walked around a little bit and I looked at things a little bit, but there wasn't that much going on. There was like one little like food thing open and everyone was just kind of sitting and waiting. And here's the other thing. So sound check started while I was there. I didn't know sound check was a thing until I showed up yesterday. Um, so sound check started while we were there. So nobody was allowed to be on their phones like at all. So here a bunch of people are, <laughs> we're all being yelled at not to be on our cell phone, which was stupid. So then I went up to the security guard who was like standing by the exit of the, where the first lady had told me to go to exit and then come back. Um, so I went up to him and I said, hey, I just want to like go ahead to my car real quick and then come back. And he said, oh, you can't do that. And I was like, oh, I thought that if I had my ticket, then I could leave and come back. And he said, no, you can't. And I said, okay. <laughs> so, which is silly because I feel like I probably could have left. I just wouldn't have been able to get back in until six, which would have been fine anyways. It was a little bit of a mess at six. Um, I was also afraid if I did leave, I'd have to stand in line again. And I didn't know quite what the floor situation was gonna look like. I knew that everyone had chairs, but I didn't know. I don't know, I'd seen things from other shows. So I was a little hesitant to leave. So I said, okay, whatever, like I won't, I won't go get my NCT light stick. So I never brought my NCT light stick into the venue. I'm so sad about it. But actually it was better because I already had the Super M one. It wasn't like I didn't have a light stick and It'll just motivate me to go see NCT one day because I really do want to see them. I got NCT's light stick because they didn't have wavies. And I also think NCT's light stick is a better investment than wavies because I'm more likely to use an NCT light stick than use a wavy light stick. And I can bring an NCT light stick to a wavy concert, but bringing a wavy light stick to a 127 concert, I feel like doesn't quite work as well. So anyways, that's why I have an NCT one. Sorry, I got distracted by this cute video of Kia. <laughs> this is my life these days. Um, so they finally, like, the doors opened at six, and of course, all of the VIPs were like sitting there, and the people who had done sound check had come back, which didn't seem like it was that many people. I didn't see that many people with the um, sound check lanyards. I don't know. They, we just, I just kind of sat there. I ate some subpar pizza and I looked through the stuff that I got. My section, there were a couple of sections you could like sit outside of. I, they just kept everybody over there. That was fine and all, but my my section was on the other side where I had to enter to go to my floor section, which I guess realistically I could have walked in anywhere, but they were telling me that I needed to go to a certain section. So there's this guy who was blocking that section and I was like, I'm not like, I'm not leaving, I'm not doing anything. I just wanna go stand where they're gonna let me in. And it was like me and like four other people and then like 20 other people showed up and this guy was like, you can't go over there. And we were like, 
that's our spot though. Like that's where we're supposed to go. That's where we've been told to go. So that was a little annoying that they did that. They That guy like kept us there for a solid like 15 minutes and people tried to walk by him and he would like chase him down. It was a little weird. So then they finally let us into the venue. I found somebody else who was floor two and we tried to, we found like floor two together, which floor two, man, I wasn't sure which ticket was gonna be the best ticket, but floor two was great. So floor two was literally in the middle of all of the stages. Um, I'll post a little picture, but the, there was the like the main stage and then there were two, um, what are they called? Like connecting stages? Like one of them didn't go anywhere, it just kind of stopped. And then the other one um, like went out to the secondary stage. So my pit section or my floor section was in the middle of all that. This is so good. It was perfect. It was the perfect spot. So I saw at the other concerts because they had done two other shows before this and I had friends who went to both of them. So, or mutuals on Twitter went to both of them. Um, so I was like trying to figure out, first of all, what they were performing because usually I'm, yeah, but I knew they were gonna do like solo and special stages and I wanted to know what they were. So we get there and I sit down in my spot and I'm like, whatever, taking my pictures and whatever. And everyone's in their chairs because there were chairs, but I had seen from the other two shows that people just said like, screw the chairs and stood, it was like a pit, but there were just a bunch of chairs as well. I was not complaining. It honestly probably should have just been a pit if we're being honest. Like five minutes before the show is supposed to start. It's supposed to start at seven. So like 6.55, the staff walk around with wristbands, which I never ended up getting one, I don't know. And they were like, if things get crazy, this is so that you don't have to pull out your ticket later and show us that you actually do belong in this floor section. So I was like, oh. So they're like, they're gonna let us get out of our seats and walk around and whatever, which was fantastic. But yeah, so they wristbanded all the people like on the outer edges, but they didn't, I was kind of in the middle. I was seat nine. So there were like 13 seats in my row or something. So I was kind of in the middle. Um, so these other two girls show up the seats next to me. Cause whenever I go to a concert alone and I'm like sitting alone, the seats next to me like never get filled till the end. <laughs> it's really sad. Um, the girls sitting next to me were like talking about the wristbands. I'm telling them like what's going on. And they were like, oh, okay. Um, but none of us ever got wristbands. And then the show starts and the girls in the very front rows, you could tell some of them had already been to some of these shows. Like they knew what was going on. A couple of them I feel like were like fan site level people, I don't know. But anyways, so they all get out and they run over to the barricade and me and the people around me are like, is this a thing we can do? And so I like waited a couple minutes to see if anyone yelled at them and sent them back to their seats. The boys aren't even out at this point. So nobody ever did. So I was like, all right. So the girl next to me was like, I don't really know what we should do. And I was like, well, if they're not stopping them, I'm gonna go over to barricade. <laughs> because this is my first concert since Monsta X. And I was like, if I can get barricade again, we're gonna get barricade again. Like, this is great. So let's go through the set list now because that is where I ended up being. I ended up being in like a pit slash barricade slash like literally all over. Um, they had these little like TVs or like monitors on the stages that I could see from where I was standing and each one after each song would tell you what stage was gonna light up and what stage was gonna start from like the people doing the lights and cameras and whatever. It would tell you where they were gonna be. So that was very helpful, that came in handy. So the show starts and I forgot to mention that my light stick, because I've never been, I mean, I feel like my Monster X one didn't do this in LA. Maybe it did and I just like was so fascinated by the boys that I just didn't notice. But my Super M light stick, um, like was connected to Bluetooth and I never did anything for it. It just automatically started. And I noticed it first when they were doing sound check because they tested the light sticks during sound check. So I was like sitting in the lobby and my light stick turned on and started doing things like I had no control over it. Um, I was afraid of the battery dying. So I like took it apart and took the batteries out so that it wouldn't ruin my batteries before I got into the actual venue um, or into the stadium. So the show starts, they all come up and they did I Can't Stand the Rain, which is my favorite B-side. So I'm very sad that was the first song, <laughs> but that's my favorite B-side from the Super M mini album. Yeah, I wanted to mention that the, um, the NCT light stick, the wavy light stick, and also the um, EXO light sticks and the shiny light sticks all also connected to Bluetooth and all worked in that venue. The 
staff had like this huge list of it wasn't huge it probably had like exos one and two on it the super m light stick or maybe not one and two i don't know exo has a lot of light sticks but they're two most recent light sticks um and then the wavy light stick the nct light stick and the shiny light stick but yeah so all of those light sticks worked with the bluetooth and connected to bluetooth and all worked together and it was so cool to see the light sticks all change in like around but anyways they did i can't stand the rain which is super good um i'll probably answer it i'm not someone who likes to do huge vlogs of just footage but i did get a lot of really good fan cams so i will insert clips of them here <laughs> And then immediately they went into solo stages, which I thought was a little weird. I wish they had done like one more song as Super M, but I guess they only have five songs as, or seven songs as Super M. They have seven songs as Super M now because they have two new ones, but I wish they had done one other song as Super M and then done their intro and then gone into the solo stages, but whatever, I don't, whatever. So then they did Taemin's solo stages, Danger and Goodbye, or um, Sayonara Hitori, the Korean version, which I guess is called Goodbye. <laughs> so good. Tame is a great performer. Oh my god. Like you can watch music shows and whatever and be like he's a great performer but when you see him in person he is so good and he was feeling sick last night I guess and I like could not tell from those stages. The boys mentioned it later and then uh, Taeyong did his solo which was called GTA. <laughs> And that was really good. Taehong is someone who, first of all, he's gorgeous. Oh my God, I don't hate me, but I've never been like, I've never looked at Taehong and been like, he's so gorgeous. But I looked at Taehong last night and was like, you are so gorgeous. Like you're literally the prettiest boy. So yeah, that was really good. He was on the, I guess the right side, little connecting thing. I don't know what they're called off the top of my head right now. I don't know, but he popped up there and he was so close to me that I was like, I had to zoom out. <laughs> I've never like, had to zoom out. Well, I guess in Monstax I did, but I was like, oh my God, like I don't even have to zoom all the way in to see you. And I didn't record like fully every single song. There were definitely people who did, but I, would, I like to get little clips of each song for video purposes and also just for me watching them purposes. Like a chorus or something, or I'll try and get, if I have a favorite part in the song, I'll try to get that on camera. So he was there and then he went to the main stage. So everyone just kind of like went around our section. So then they did Supercar as Super M and then they did their little intro thing. <laughs> And they did that on the second stage looking out so their backs were to us and that was kind of like sad because we weren't allowed to go around there even though that was also floor two but for some reason they wouldn't let us past that point i couldn't even go stand at barricade like behind that which was floor two i don't know it was kind of weird <laughs> whatever like I had so many other good like views of them besides when they were out there and they weren't out there that much so so yeah they did their little intro thing um and then they did 10 solos which are dream in a dream and new heroes both of which were on the secondary stage which was so sad I was like oh I really want to see new heroes like with him facing me but he came towards the right back or the right little bridge thing um for the end of it, so I have a good clip of that.
And then after 10 was Lucas's solo, which I did record the entire thing because it, because it is, he's my boy. <laughs> and yeah, his, his song was so good. I think his performance was really good. Like I got a good clip of it because I was like Lucas biased and I was like, I'm gonna get in there and get a good video of it. And I got a great, great video of it. Oh yeah, he looked so good. Oh my gosh, I love him. Ten also killed me last night, I want to say, because he, oh, so pretty. And he speaks English so well, so he was just like communicating with the fans so much, which was so cute. And um, yeah, he was, he was on my side of the stage when they were like standing at seven a lot. But like I could have walked around, but I just never really, I didn't really spend that much time over on the other side of barricade so lucas did his song and then beckyan did his songs which he did so he did betcha and un village and betcha was on the second stage which was so sad because that's like my favorite song from beckyan <laughs> Ever. Um, my favorite song from his mini and then he did UN Village on the main stage so that was cool I got to see that really close oh I didn't finish talking about Lucas so Lucas like his the little video behind him while he was performing was so funny and so cute and I like cried I was like it's so good it's so good so uh, Beckyan amazing Beckyan used to be my XOK bias back when XOK and XOM were a thing and I over the years I've kind of changed XOK biases and changed like my overall biases Shimin as you guys know um in XO and Baekhyun is like second or third like I raised Kyungsoo up recently and but I guess from the active members of XO who aren't in the military Kyun is my bias in EXO currently. He reminded me last night of that time I like biased him in XOK and he was like, see what you're missing out on. And I was like, I can't, <laughs> literally. I might go back to the K-pop store today. And if I do, I'm gonna try to buy Baekhyun's solo album because I want it. <laughs> I really want it after seeing um, Betcha Live. But UN Village was really good. I like that song. I don't love that song, but I like it. I think it's a really good performance song and seeing it live was super cool. And Beckin's vocals, they're so good, but we're not surprised. Then they did one of their like unreleased songs, Dangerous Woman. <laughs> which um, they did mostly, I feel like on, maybe they moved around a lot for that one, but I know that they were on the second stage, but I also know that they walked back up front eventually. I don't know. I think that also might be the song, no, maybe maybe it's too fast that um, Baekhyun was literally like so close to me, like literally so close but I think that's a song that I realized yeah it was too fast that I realized that Lucas and Taemin were on the main stage and I didn't know they were there because I was standing next to the barricade on the side stage and Baekhyun popped up and I was and then Taemin started singing I was like wait where's Taemin and I saw him and Lucas on the main stage and I got distracted so that's what that clip is <laughs>
but yeah a dangerous woman was really good it's an unreleased song which probably means they'll release another mini album i'm thinking probably early next year because they released two songs today and i can't imagine sm maybe after they finish their tour they'll release their second mini album because i think the tour ends in february but they did that then they did baby don't stop which was all on the second stage and i'm so sad about it because it, i had my their backs were to me most of the time so my baby don't stop fan cam is very sad but i am so happy that i saw that song in person because that was like one of the main songs i really wanted to see live from the like solo ones um new heroes and um Goodbye from Taemin I really wanted to see and then of course whatever Lucas did and I Can't Stand the Rain and No Manners. Yeah, those were the songs I was most excited about. And then they did Mark solo. Mark is the cutest. <laughs> He's the cutest boy. <laughs> He's so cute. And I was talking to my friend Sana about this. We got dinner after the show and um, she was like, I feel like he's just a good boy. Like he just looks like he's such a good boy. <laughs> and I agree. He just looks like such a nice, friendly, good boy. And I love him. Um, his solo was really good. He has a lot of stage presence. All of these boys have a lot of stage presence. Um, SM really put their like big powerhouses from their third and fourth gen groups um i guess if you count exo is second or taman yeah taman's second but anyways their second third and fourth gen boy groups they have minus super junior they really put like all of their aces in this group and it shows on stage uh talk about which was mark solo was super good and then they had like a vcr thing which was pretty good um and then they came out for like their encore thing i guess is what it was called but it wasn't like a normal k-pop concert encore where you like chant their name for a while and they come back they like just came back so they did no manners Um, with You, which is another unreleased song, and then, which I think is the song that they threw balls into the audience. I did not catch one, and I'm so sad about it. But yeah, there was some like wild competition for those. It was a little scary. <laughs> Um, and then they did Jopping, of course. So, yeah, that, that was all the stages. It was pretty good. Do I want to do my haul in this video? Maybe I'll do it in a separate video because this clip is already 30 minutes long. But yeah, overall, I had a really good time. I had a great time. I um, I tweeted about this that, oh, I have to talk about my... So I didn't get many interactions. It wasn't really a big interactive kind of show. I feel like a lot of it was them just performing the songs and like... Yeah, it was a very quick show. I think the show like officially ended at like 8.45 and it started at seven, like it was pretty short. But at the end, they were doing like their ending talk things. And so in front of me was Ten and then Baekhyun and then Lucas. And so I was just like staring at Lucas, like probably to a creepy level, just like staring at him. And I think he felt like someone staring at him, like very intently so he looks over and he makes eye contact with me and we just like kind of stare at each other for like probably 10-15 seconds and then I was just I pointed him I was like I love you <laughs> and he was like nodded and was like oh hey <laughs> like, so it was really cute I'm really yeah and that's amazing that I tried so hard like you can probably hear in some of my fan camps I tried so hard to get Lucas to notice me all night because he's my like favorite boy in NCT like of all of the NCT members 
he's my favorite so i was very excited that i got his attention and then baekhyun we got some interactions for a lot on my side too a lot of and 10 too they all all three of those boys interacted with our side quite a bit but yeah overall it was a really really good show um wish it had been a little longer like i feel like because according to this they only did 18 songs which i guess is a lot but i feel like or 17 songs and the vcr i really liked my seat i think if you're going to one of these super m concerts i wish there hadn't been the chairs i wish they had just like done pit but i guess the chairs made it a little easier i don't know people moved around so much because you could tell certain people were there for certain people and which is the thing about super m is that not everyone is there for everyone which I thought was interesting. So like for Lucas's stage, for instance, people would like back up and that's when I got in there because I was like, Lucas is my bias. And I was there because, so Lucas is my overall NCT bias and when are Wavy gonna do a world tour? Literally never. So that was like a big reason I wanted to go. Another big reason I wanted to go is that Shiny will probably never tour as Shiny in the US ever again. And I, seeing Taemin was like great because Shiny had been, one of my favorite boy groups for literally like 10 years like i've known them for so long and i was just like if i can see Taemin, like that's great um also i missed the nct concert earlier this year the 127 concert and i was so sad about it so really wanted to do that and also same with exo i feel like exo probably won't tour in the u.s anytime soon so seeing Beckyun and kai was great did i talk about kai's stage mm -mm. kai's stage confession <sighs> Kai is a great performer. He is amazing. Like, I have always heard people talk about how amazing he is, and I've always been like, yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. But he just like owns the stage. Like he, what is that? He literally, and it's crazy. Like, yeah. A lot of what I got from a lot of these stages is that all the Super M boys are very, very good at what they do. They're all like top aces in their respective groups and they all know how to hold their presence on stage, which I think can make their group stages look a little weird sometimes, but I think, but it looks better than when they first started performing together. They seem more like a team instead of like people who are used to being the center who are no longer always the center, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Not like they're competing against each other, but I think it's just they're so used to, like Kai is so used to being in the center, Taeyong is so used to being in the center all the time, Lucas is so used to being in the center of Wavy all the time. Like, you know what I mean? And then all of a sudden they're not all in the center all the time. Does that make any sense? Probably not, but anyways. Yeah, I went because I thought it would be a really good, I don't, I don't want to say investment, but I just thought it would be a really good show to go to. So I have been to, this is my fourth Atlanta concert. I've been to four Atlanta concerts and I've been to LA and I've been to New York and I always have the most fun people in the pit or audience wise in Atlanta. I don't know what it is about it. The people who live here, who go to concerts here, I don't know, but yeah. So it was super fun. I would say because there's still like a lot of shows left, if you have the opportunity to go to Super M and you're even mildly interested in any of these boys, you should go because it's a great show and they're all fantastic performers and all the songs on the mini album are really good and all the songs they perform otherwise are super good. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this. I'll probably, unless I go to the K-pop store again, which I might go today um, at some point before I leave, I will vlog that. Otherwise, this is the last clip in the vlog. So thank you so much for watching. This is also the first concert where I've left the venue and I already have another concert set up because I'm seeing 17 in January, which is so exciting to think about because usually I leave the venue and I'm like, I don't have any concerts to look forward to, but I'm so, ha I'm so happy that I do. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you went to the show, let me know down below. Also, I had a couple people come up and say hello to me, which was super cool. So thank you for doing that. I'm sorry, I'm literally the most awkward human being alive, but 
thank you for saying hello. This concert was exactly what the doctor ordered. It was exactly what the doctor ordered. I feel kind of like I was just feeling so sad about K-pop this past month and I feel like this concert is what I needed to kind of remind me of why I listen to K-pop. That sounds like super deep for like watching Kai dance shirtless with that leather jacket on on stage. But like, I feel like it was so fun to be around K-pop fans and like enjoy K-pop because yeah, I feel a lot better now, but yeah. I'm really gonna end this clip now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you said hello to me. Let me know if you went to any of the concerts or if you're planning going to any of them. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.